So on 3rd July 2022, ECOWAS heads of state and government, they have adopted the Supplementary Act to transfer the piracy suspect and its associated evidence and property. In order to support the effective implementation of the Supplementary Act, under the European Union-funded SWAMS program, UNODC GMCP is simulating the transfer of piracy suspects within the Grand African NEMO exercise this year. So this piracy simulation exercise of the Zone E scenario, we are going to test two transfer. So the first one will be from Benin to Togo, and the second transfer case will be from Togo to Nigeria. So at sea, we are simulating the entire maritime interdiction operation process to start from the boarding and searching of the vessel from the Navy's boarding team. We are also simulating the process of the arrest and detention of suspects pending transfer to another state and ensure the process is in line with international human rights law. Then police and gendarmerie come in to simulate the phase of evidence collection on vessel and how to respect the chain of custody. At the end, we are sending the collected evidence through Yaris communication system directly from the vessel to their National Maritime Operations Center. From that time on land, the sending states will analyze the evidence that were transmitted from the vessel and they are going to draft the handover request to the receiving states. And from the receiving states, once they received the uh, transfer request, they are going to analyze the request and then they are going to respond back to the sending state. Two, three.